This is Bimble. He lives in Stiltsville. Everyone here helps to produce wool. Wool blended with fairy tales, which is sent out to every corner of the world. One day, Bimble acquires a bucket, a magic bucket, which will give him anything he wishes for. This is the guardian of the bucket, Teeny Weeny. Soon others are after it. Dolly Clackhanger for one. Dolly would dearly love to be the village witch, but she's been thrown out of the village because of the noise and mess caused by her experiments. The small one is her assistant, Sploot. Queen Cack, the lazy, greedy ruler of the country, also wishes to possess the bucket and sends her servants, Bilge and Euler, to steal it. But then everything blows up, Stiltsville is left hanging in the air and Slea City slides into the crater beneath. Dolly Clackhanger and her assistant Sploot have gone down into the crater to Slea City to visit Queen Cack. Bilge and Euler are also in Slea City visiting their mates and all of them are trapped there because Bimble and Teeny Weeny have blocked their only exit with Dolly's own cauldron. I'm very sorry, Miss Clackhanger, but I'm rather tired. Uh, we've been here all night, you know, and uh, if you ask me, that uh, pipe is well and truly blocked and no amount of... I must get back to Chateau Clackhanger, so stop talking and fire! Very well, Miss Clackhanger. to tie some rocks or something onto his boots and fire him upside down, you might break whatever it is what's blocking a pipe. Did I ask for your comments, Euler? Did I? Did I? Well, I was only trying to make helpful suggestions. Bit of creative input to the situation, like. It might be worth a try, Miss Clackhanger. After all, rocks are quite hard things. And... Well, go on then. Do it, do it! <laughs> I'm ready, Dolly. This is a jolly good idea of Euler's, isn't it? Well, don't just stand there. Get a move on. Stand back, Doll. We'll fix him. There you are. He's all ready now. Thank you, Bilge. Fire him! Just fire him! Fire! <laughs> now, doesn't look like your idea was an absolutely amazingly wonderful success then, does it, Euler? No! Oh. <laughs> The lot of you! Hopeless! What do you mean? It was a jolly good idea. Didn't work, though, did it? Well, it might have. Yeah, but it didn't. It might. But it didn't. Might have. It didn't. It might. Perhaps you two would be so kind as to give me a hand. <laughs> Bye-bye, everyone. check on Chateau Clackhanger to make sure they haven't managed to get back up the pipe. I think that might be a good idea. How shall we go? Uh, I wish for... I know, wings! 
Oh, I thought, uh... You asked for wings, Bimble, and these are wings. Oh, yes, right, they certainly are. It's just that, well, they look like they might be more hard work than walking, really. Well, I'm sorry. They're the best I can do. Take them or leave them. No, no, I'll take them. They're fine. Thank you. See? It's easy. <laughs> Miss Clecker, it seems you will be with us for some while. An ideal opportunity for you to work full time and getting me out of this crater. I shall do my very best, Your Majesty. Oh, I hope so, Miss Clackhanger. I do hope so. I shall need to find some sort of laboratory, Your Majesty. Of course you will, Miss Clackhanger. Of course you will. You shall have mudges. But your Mudge, ma Miss Clackhanger, was going to produce gold in his laboratory. He failed. But your Majesty, he is what? now fully occupied with failing to get me out of this crater and no longer requires the laboratory. Therefore, Miss Clackhanger, it is yours. Oh, Your Majesty, you're very kind, very... Show Miss Clackhanger to the laboratory, Mudge. Yes, Your Majesty. This way. <laughs> Laboratory, eh? Somewhere else for her to blow holes in and make a mess of. Well, it still looks deserted. What do you think? I think you should look in all the buildings, just to make sure. <sighs> all clear? Right, what should we do now? Perhaps we ought to stay around for a while. Why don't you come in and I'll show you around a bit more? Oh, thanks. That'd be good. You'll have to hide the bucket first. Right. This looks a good place. Nobody would ever notice a bucket among all this rubbish. Come on, then. Time for the tour. My laboratory, Miss Clackhanger. Don't think much of the decoration. Well, what do you expect? Look at him. You'll see that everything is in its proper place, Miss Clackhanger. All the books are arranged in alphabetical order, and Much? Yes, Miss Clackhanger. What is it that you're building for Her Majesty? A lift, Miss Clackhanger. A lift to get her out of this crate. Then why don't you go and build it instead of lurking about behind me all the time? Will you go away! This is my laboratory, Miss Clackhanger, and I'm entitled to lurk anywhere Go I... away! Take bilge and oiler with you. They ought to be able to help to build a lift. It can't be that difficult. Very well. But please try to keep things in their proper places. Out! Now, let's see, let's see. Dolly, look, I found a hat. Can Get I... over here, Sploot, and hold this. Yes, Dolly. It looks like a very interesting hat. And this. Gosh, that's jolly good. Cool. <laughs> hey. Will you be quiet? I'm trying to concentrate. Yes, Dolly. Only, I just thought... Well done! Sorry, Dolly.
I think it's about time you visited the Great Bucket. The Great Bucket? Yes, it's where all the fairy tales in the world come from. And it's where Mr. and Mrs. Gallipot live. You know, the ones who sent you the bucket. Really? Yes, really. I think we'll go by balloon. Come on. We're in space! No, we're not. We're just in another dimension, that's all. I don't reckon building works for royalty come in our contract, I don't. Me neither. I... Oof! Oh, sorry, Dad. I would be obliged if you two would concentrate on your work. There could have been serious injury there, you know. We said we were sorry. You don't look like you're seriously injured to me. No. Well, just get on with your work, please, or I shall have to have words. could help you to... Stop chattering, Spruce! Go away! Yes, darling. I bet this hat would help. I bet it would. I'll try it out anyway, and she'll be ever so pleased if it works. <gasps> it's a golden bucket! Yep. Isn't it beautiful? It's where all the fairy tales in the world come from. Gosh! My dear, I'm Pimple. <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Come in, come in. Hello, Mrs. Mrs. Gallipot. I dare say you remember Mr. Gallipot. Uh, I... The last time we met, young Bimble, I was up to my neck in a swamp and you were trying to pull a bucket off my head. <laughs> Of course. And that's Cat. Hello, Cat. I hope you don't mind, but I thought Bimble might be interested to see where all the fairy tales come from. I was hoping you might give him a sort of guided tour. It'll be a pleasure, my dear, a pleasure. Thank you. You stay here and talk to Mr Gallipot, Teeny Weeny. Bimble and I won't be long. All right. Come along, Bimble. Each room here contains a group of objects around which Gallipot and I fashion a story. Are there lots of rooms? Oh, they're never-ending. <laughs> Wouldn't do to run out of fairy stories, would it? No, I suppose not. We're having a bit of a problem with this one, though. The glass slippers are so pretty, but we can't seem to make them fit in with the pumpkin. I know. You could have a pumpkin who finds a pair of glass slippers that a beautiful fairy princess has lost. And when he returns them to her, she's so grateful that she turns him into a handsome prince. Well, yes. <laughs> I dare say we shall think of something. This one's coming on quite nicely, I think. I bet it's about uh, seven little children who have to climb a mountain to reach a magic apple and then... Uh... No, Bimble, not quite. Now, I think this one might be quite frightening. I told her my hat would solve the problem. I told her I'll fetch her book. She'll like that. That's it, that's it. We're nearly there, nearly there. Now, don't rush it. Be careful. Oh, we shouldn't be asked to do all this manual work. We're not used to it. We are, we are. We're doing it all the time on Dolly's house. Rebuilding it and all yeah, that. Yeah, but 
It's more your architecture, innit? Creative, artistic. We got scope there. I mean, we can let our imagination run free. You know, indulge our... What's the names? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Pretty, Mr. Gallipot. What is it? It looks like... Yes, it's shrinking powder. I can't imagine how that got here. We've certainly no need of it. I think perhaps I'll throw it away. Oh, please don't. It's so pretty. Could I have it? I could use it as an ornament. It would look lovely on my bedside table. Very well, then. There you are. Oh, thank you. Here we are. Tour over. Did you enjoy it, Bimble? Oh, yes, thanks. It was amazing. Thank you very much for showing me around, Mrs. Gallipot. It was really interesting. My pleasure, Bimble. Goodbye, Mr. Gallipot. Goodbye, Mrs. Gallipot. Thank you for my ornament. Goodbye, Teeny Weeny. Goodbye, Bimble. Goodbye. 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 What's that? It's to go on my bedside table. Isn't it pretty? to have another check around, Bimble, and then we'll go. Right. Oh, hello. She wouldn't listen to me, but I said this would work, and it does. What? This hat. I found it, so I've come up to get Dolly's spell book. She'll be ever so pleased. It's Dolly Clackhanger's assistant. He says he's flown up here with this hat. I know. I heard. If he's flown up, I could fly down. I could fly down and find out what they're all doing down there. What for? Well, it might be useful. You know, information about the enemy sort of thing. Anyway, I'd like a go on the hat. I should be careful about relying on that hat. Doesn't look as if it ought to be able to fly to me. It'll be all right. Hey! Put me down! I'm not coming! You'll enjoy it! you, Bimble. I said I didn't want to come. I quite distinctly told you that I... I'm sorry, I apologise, but could I wish for something, please? Because I'm sinking into this mud! Oh, all right. I wish for something to take me over the mud. What? Mud shoes? All right? Yes, lovely. Thank you very much indeed. Now, let's go and see what we can see. I said, commence test. Push the test weight onto the lift. Well, we hasn't quite got a last plank on at the top there, Mr. Mudge. You can do that later. Now commence test. Jiffy, then. Back up the top. Oh, I don't think I'd count on that if I was you. Why not? It works. You just see it work. True. Finish off up the top there, please. I shall go and inform Her Majesty of our success. What can we do? Hey, 
Hey, that's that pimple, that is. Get in! It would have looked so pretty by my bed. So untidy. It took me ages to find the spell book. But then they say that untidiness is a sign of genius, don't they? So I suppose you can't help it. Oh! How kind of you to look after my hat. Thanks very much. Bye! If we had have been on that, that could have been quite nasty. I said we weren't suited to manual labour, so there's your proof. You're right. Here you are, Dolly. Where'd you get that? I told you, my hat. You mean it was in your hat all the time? No. no. You're hopeless. Why didn't you speak up? I did, I did. Ah, oh. Why didn't you say so? I did. Oh, ah, oh, ah, ah, oh, hey, ah, oh, oh, ah. His head was covered ear to ear in a pail. He somehow stuck it, and his plea was clear to me. Free me from this bucket. I could not foresee what fate had planned for me. How could I tell a wishing? Show my stuff, pushed and pulled and nearly struck it. 